Hey guys, it's King DX for FirstTo3.com, and today I'm going to be talking about Amplitude, and we're going to be going over some Amplitude tips for veterans of the series. So if you've ever played the original Amplitude or Frequency, then these tips are going to be for you. If you haven't, then these tips are probably going to be somewhat irrelevant for you because you're probably not going to know a lot of the terminology, and that's okay. Um, these tips aren't necessarily needed for you to be able to play the game. Um, these tips are more so catered to people who may have been familiar with certain things in the game. Some of those things have changed, so I just kind of want to get it out there so you guys will know, so you won't experience any types of frustrations in playing the game. Now, uh, the first thing I want to talk about is some of the power-ups. Uh, so, some small changes, but they can be somewhat uh, impactful. Um, some power-ups got name changes. So, for instance, uh, Auto Catcher is now called Cleanse. Uh, Freestyler is now called Flow. And slow-mo has been called sedate. Now, um, these aren't really huge changes. Um, the one thing that I did notice is that sometimes when I would pick up the new flow power-up, I would hear flow, but because I'm in the middle of the action and I'm so accustomed to playing amplitude, in my mind, I would hear slow. Uh, so there would be points where I would go to, you know, activate my power, I hit X, and all of a sudden, you know, I'm freestyling and I have no clue. I'm like, oh shit, and I, I miss a couple points because I'm not really paying attention to what's going on. So, um, like I said, nothing major, but uh, something to be aware of. Now, one big change that they've made to the game is now moving left or right will automatically take you to the next active track. Um, so, in the video um, that's kind of playing right now, you should be able to see sometimes what will happen is, let's say I'm on the center track and I have one track all the way on the far left lane and another track all the way on the far right lane. Uh, normally in frequency or amplitude you have to move over multiple times for every track that was missing to get all the way over so if it was three tracks over to the left I would hit left three times to get over well now um, all you have to do is press left once and you'll automatically jump over to that next track um, it's a really cool feature I don't think it necessarily detracts from the game I don't think it necessarily makes the game easier um, but it's something to be aware of because there were times where I prepped myself to move over uh, one or two lanes, uh, one lane for an empty lane, and two lanes being the next lane over. And in the process of me doing that, I hit left twice, and I skipped the track I was prepared to press a note for. So it actually sent me over to a track in which uh, the starting note was different from than the one I thought it was going to be. Um, and it ended up costing me um, some points and essentially uh, costing me my multiplier. Um, now, multipliers are is exactly the same like you remember them. Um, one thing also to know is that... Um, end of the track quick transitions have changed a bit so you know you know how frequency and amplitude gets right you get to the end of the track there's a note and then all of a sudden you know at the beginning of the next uh, track the next section there's a note immediately so you have to like hit your note dash over as quick as you can and immediately be pressing your your next note well they seem to be a little bit more forgiving in this game that means I would definitely take my time and make sure that you're getting those final notes before moving over I say after you move over, you still have a bit of time to hit your note. It seems like as long as your note is partially in the circle, when you hit it, you can still kind of get that point and keep up if you're already on rhythm. Um, so that's something really cool that I like. Um, it makes it a little less stressful for quick transitions. And that's pretty much going to be it. I mean, ma mainly everything is pretty close to what you remember. Um, I know on a pre-alpha build that they did back in PAX that you could go from a, you could double tap uh, if you want a far left track and go over to the right side that doesn't seem to be implemented in the game So it looks like they possibly took that out or maybe it'll come back later in a patch um, But for right now, that's gonna be it. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video Like I said, this was only tips for veterans of the series um, Feel free to check us out at first3.com. I'm King DX. I'll see you next time